Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are on page 149 today. And before we get started today, we are going to review subtracting fractions. I'm sorry, subtracting decimals. So my first problem is four and five tenths take away two and 13 hundredths. So just like when I add decimals, when I subtract decimals, the most important thing to do is line up my place values, which includes lining up my decimal. So I have four and five tenths take away two and 13 hundredths. Now, just like with adding, I wanna add a zero when there's an empty spot. So I have zero take away three is impossible, so we'll borrow. 10 take away three is seven, four take away one is three, and my decimal needs to be brought down, and four take away two is two. So again, the most important thing is to line up the decimals when I add and subtract decimals. So here is your problem for the day. Four and 75 hundredths take away three and nine tenths. Okay, today's lesson is a little bit different. Um, we are still in our multiplying multiplying and dividing fractions, but this, this whole lesson's a little bit kind of on the side of it, so it's, it's a little different. Our goal is today I will write comparison statements, period. Okay, so they give us some vocabulary and it says factors are numbers that are multiplied together and create a product. Then they give us product, which is the result or the answer of multiplying factors together. So it says it's the solution or answer to a multiplication problem. Then this is the big one, a constant. A constant is something that does not change. Okay, and you're gonna see this a lot in every one of our problems, what's the constant? And um, we're gonna add some kind of notes to our vocabulary section before we get started, just to kind of help you understand this. So if I was gonna compare 20 to 40, what could I say? 20 is blank of 40. Okay, I could say 20 is half of 40. But what if I switch them? 40 is what to 20? So it's not half anymore. I could say 40 is two times. I could have even maybe said double. 40 is two times 20 or 40 is double 20. Okay, let's try another one. What if I said six is what of 30? Well, is it gonna be times or is it gonna be a fraction? Six is what of 30? How many sixes would it take to get to 30? Well, six times five is 30, so six is one-fifth of 30. But what if we flip-flop it? 30 is what compared to six? 30 is five times six. Are you kind of seeing how these fractions are related? Let's try one more. Two is what compared to six? and six is what compared to two. So we have two is what of six? Is it gonna be a times or is it gonna be a fraction? Hopefully you see it's gonna be a fraction because it's smaller. So how many twos would it take to get to six? It would take three, so two is one third of six, and six is three times two. So we're gonna be using these um, I could have either said six is triple, maybe, two. But we're gonna be using these fractions of or these times in our comparison statements. Okay, so let's look at our steps. It says identify the constant factors. Constant are factors that don't change. Then compare how the factors that are different are related. Okay, this one's a little tricky though because we have to pay close attention to the question because we wanna compare them the way the question's asking us. 
And then it says, ensure that the product will have the same relationship as the factors that are different. This one we're just gonna cross off and we're gonna say, write a statement. Okay, so I'm gonna identify the constant factors and then I'm gonna compare how the factors that are different are related. But I'm gonna look at the question to help me and then I'm just gonna write a statement. Okay, so let's look at what this looks like. Here is my first one, and it says, how does the product of 12,000 times 32 compare to the product of 1,200 times 32? How do you know? Okay, so I'm gonna be comparing this product, I'm gonna call it product one, to this product, which I'll call product two. So my first step says, what's the constant factors? The 32, they don't, that doesn't help me. So I wanna compare, the second one says, compare how the factors that are different are related. And I wanna look at the order they are in the question. So the question, it wants me to compare product one, which is 12,000. I'm gonna compare it to product two, which is 1,200, okay. So how is this compared to this? 12,000 is what compared to 1,200? 12 is 10 times, that's my comparison. So 12,000 is 10 times 1,200, because if I multiplied this by 10, I would get this. So my statement could be for my product one is 10 times product two. And that would be my statement. Okay, let's look at another one. Carlos seeded a lawn that has a width of 45 feet and a length of 30 feet. He has enough seed to cover a second lawn that has an area that's half the size as the lawn he already seeded. The width needs to be the same as the first area. What's the length of the second lawn that Carlos will seed? Okay, so this one, they actually kind of told me the comparison. They said the comparison is half. They want me to figure it out. So I could say maybe like lawn one was the width was 45 and the length was 30. And then lawn two, what do I know about lawn two? It says, the width needs to be the same. So width is 45, and I don't know the length. They wanna know what the length is. Okay, so, um, but this one says, and I might need to switch it because it says that this one's gonna be half of. So I'm gonna actually compare this to this one. So we might have to switch those then because they say, what's the length of the second lawn? So if I want this one to be half of this one, what would that have to be? So we want this to be half, so this I know has to be 15. We might have wanted to switch them, but this is, the area is going to be, have to be half because this whole thing, this, sorry, the length has to be half because this whole area needs to be half. So I know the length needs to be 15 feet, we might have wanted to switch that for the actual setting it up. But this one, they asked it differently. They're not asking us to write a comparison. Okay, let's look at number three. Billy spent $20 at the market. Sally spent $5. How many times less money did Sally spend compared to Billy? That's why in step two, I said to make sure we're comparing it with how the question's asking. Because in the words it says Billy first, then Sally, but in the question it says how many times less did Sally spend compared to Billy? They want me to compare Sally, which is five, to Billy's, which is 20. So that's where it gets a little tricky. So step one said identify the constant factors. There was nothing constant here. They didn't have anything the same. And then step two said compare how the factors that are different are related but I said to pay attention to the question because the question says compare Sally to Billy. So I had to have it in this order. And Sally's is five and Billy's is 20. So five is what of 20? 
5 is 1 fourth of 20. So our statement could say that, that Sally spent 1 fourth of Billy, or 1 fourth of what Billy spent, of what Billy spent. And yes, I'm using abbreviations and you're welcome to as well. Okay, so let's try some of these together. Number one says, how do, I'm sorry, we're on page 150. How does the product of 682 compare to the product, I'm, I'm sorry, 682 times 40 compare to the product of 682 times 400? Okay, so we're comparing this product, we'll call it product one, times this product, which is product two. Okay, so step, so that's the order. Step one is to find what's the constant. The 682 is not going to help us. Step two is we're going to now look at the factors based on the way they're asking in the question. So this is asking product one and the different factors 40 compared to product two, which is 400. So 40 is what of 400? 40 is smaller than 400, so it's not going to be a times, it's going to be a fraction. 40 is one-tenth of 400. So our answer could be product 1 is one-tenth of product 2. Okay, let's look at our next one. This is going to be kind of that weird one like I had. Oh, actually, I apologize. It's not. Jerry's room has a length of 20 feet and a width of 14 feet. Brandon's room has a length of 10 feet and a width of 14 feet. How does the area of Jerry's room compare to the area of Brandon's room? Okay, so what's the constant? The constant is width of 14. That doesn't help us. So what's the different, different factors? And how does the question ask that? It says, how does Jerry's room, they want us to compare Jerry's room compared to Brandon's room. So Jerry's room has a length of 20 and Brandon's room has a length of 10. So 20 is compared, is what compared to 10? So 20 is two times, I could say, or we could say 20 is double. That means the same as two times. So now our statement could say, we could say um, the area of Jerry's room is two times Brandon's room, period. And that could be our statement then. The area of Jerry's room is two times um, Brandon's room. Okay, let's look at our last one together. Um, Phil spent $100 on supplies for his project. Christopher only spent $25 on his supplies. How many times less money did Christopher spend in comparison to Phil? Okay, so there's no constant here. They don't have any numbers that are the same that we can cross off. So step two is write the different numbers, but look at how the question's asking. So the question says, how many times less did Christopher spend compared to Phil. So they want us to compare Christopher to Phil. So Christopher's number was 25 and Phil's was 100. So 25 is what compared to 100? Well, it's not going to be a times because this is smaller. It's going to be one fourth of because it's going to take four of these to get to 100. So we could say Christopher spent one fourth of the money that Phil spent. And that could be our statement. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I know this is a different kind of lesson and we haven't done something like it. So do your very best. Make sure you're following the order of the question as you're doing your comparisons and have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.